What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over how I like to make between 45 and 50,000 stubs every single hour on the game. No money spent. Drop a thumbs up on the video. A lot of y'all not subscribed, so please hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on for more great tips like this. And we're going to become millionaires together. So you can see I'm currently over 250,000 stubs. Still have a lot of stubs to make in the inventory if I wanted to. So right now we're going to be looking at Mickey Mantle. What you want to be looking for. You want to be trying to give yourself between a 500 stub profit, 800 stub profit, closer to 1,000. You want to make sure that you are getting this after Texas. Let's break down how to use the buy and sell order. Okay, so if you are purchasing the car, you never just buy it straight up. You always, when you are buying the car, you look at the price in the sell area. Look at the price in the sell area when you are buying it and go three stubs up. I like to go for two to four cards at a time. So I will go three stubs up on one, four stubs up, five stubs up. Whichever ones come to me the fastest, I will cancel the other orders. Now, on the other hand, when you are selling the car, you're going to go to the sell order and you're never going to sell it outright what is up there. You're going to create a sell order and then you're going to do the same thing. The lowest price will be on the left hand side, the buy area, and then you're going to go either two or three stubs below that, and then you're going to do the same thing. Two stubs, three stubs, four stubs. Try to get them to go as fast as possible. Every five minutes, the market is going to fluctuate, so make sure that you are not losing a lot of stubs when the prices are changing. Sometimes you can be patient, hold the card for an extra five minutes, the price will jack back up, and then you can make your profit. Now, in between time, if you have five to ten cards, okay, say you buy Andrew McCutcheon, Mickey Mantle, who are hot cards right now, not hot as far as using them, but hot as far as people selling them to you and then you being able to resell them back on the market. In between time, you're going to be using the exchange method or you're going to be playing an online game to get your innings and more free stubs. The exchange method, super easy. I broke it down. Go into the playlist on the channel, watch every video, every video that's been released so far and it's going to help you out. No money spent. You're going to be having a half a million stubs before the first roster update. Go into the exchange. You should be able to get silvers, turn them into gold, and you should be able to make every gold pack within 600 to 750 stubs. As the market keeps going up and up and up players are supercharged mlb games are going on closer to the roster update the goals are going to go up higher and higher 83s are going to get up to about 2000 stubs 84s are going to get up to about 27 2800 stubs so the exchanges is super important when you are spending 650 stubs off of silvers to make a gold pack and the market is at its highest in the next 10 days and you are spending 650 stubs and you are pulling 83s to 84 overalls that's going for 2700 to 2800 stubs you can see how you are making a lot of stubs 2800 stubs you can sell them for spending 650 stubs you can do the math that's a big gap in between if you do that 50 60 times that's a lot of stubs coming in then you still are working the market. You have your 7 to 10 cards that's flipping, bringing you an extra 600 to 1,000 stubs in between each person. You're going to be making stubs, 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 stubs. Make sure that you drop a thumbs up on this video. If this helped you out, exactly how to use the buy and the sell order, what cards to go after. Mickey Mano has been moving super fast for me. You can see George Palanca, Michael King, you can see Dennis Eckersley, you can see Mickey Mantle, you can see Brian Abreu. A couple cars that's been moving. Tyler O'Neill was moving okay, but then he slowed down, so I wouldn't use him. But Mickey Mantle and Brian Abreu, if you do have the stubs for that, make sure that you take advantage of it. And you can be giving yourself between a 500 to 800 stub profit. If you do 50 of them, that's almost 42,000 stubs super super fast do your exchanges in between time drop a thumbs up on the video stay tuned for more breakdowns on this channel 